Tip number 63. Consider to place analog circuits in corners of your PCB. Now, I need to say this is not like general tip for all the analog circuits. It is about the kind of boards what we normally design. And these are the processor boards and microcontroller boards. So the kind of boards with uh, some digital stuff and some analog circuits. I think it covers quite a lot of boards. That's why I created this tip. I'm going to explain it on this example. This is a IMX6 uh, base board. And I'm going to explain uh, how I think when uh, I'm placing these analog components. So what I'm thinking about. First, what I always have a look is where are the power supplies. Here in this corner, there are the main power supplies. And then I try to think where the high currents are going to flow. And I know here are some connectors which may drive like really high currents. So the high currents, they may flow this way from the power supply to the connectors. And also here are some connectors. So some high currents may flow also this direction. Then I also think about the return current for high speed signals. And I need to say in uh, almost all of our boards, we use the full ground planes. So the return current for the high speed signals, it travels under the signal. Yeah? So this area with a lot of tracks is going to be quite busy. There will be a lot of currents flowing around. Now, imagine you are going to place the analog components. Are you going to place it here, somewhere in the middle of the board? I would not place it there, because all the high currents are going to flow through this area. A lot of high speed signals and return currents are going to flow through this area. I wouldn't place it here. Would you place it uh, here, in this area? Oh, maybe that's a little bit better than the center here. But still, if we place it into this area, uh, the currents from this main power supply, they still somehow need to go to this uh, connector area and they will be probably running this way. So they may be crossing the, the area with the analog circuits, which we don't really want. And I need to say, it will be in different tip, but in many cases we do not split the uh, digital and analog ground. Yeah, so uh, it would be actually all this current they would be actually running under the analog circuits, and we don't really want to do it. So where we place the analog circuit here into this corner. That's why I uh, say place it into the corner because uh, corner is kind of place which is uh, kind of safe for uh, these uh, currents. You know, it, the currents, they are not going to f go this way or through the, through the analog circuits because they, most of them, they will go in this direction and they will be here somewhere. So this corner is going to be quite quiet yeah, from all these return currents and the high currents. This is a very simple explanation of what is going to, you know, happen or what, what will be happening on this board. In reality, it's much, much more complex, but I think it's a kind of a simple way how to, how people can imagine uh, what is happening on the board and how can they think when they are placing the analog components. Tip number 63, consider to place analog circuits in corners of your PCB. Why? You may not want to place it in the middle of the board where all the currents and signals are running.